Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Report's news briefing for Monday the 25th of September. The local media headlines today. Now we're in the party conference season, which is a bit like Panto but more predictable, with last week's dramatic government U-turn on climate change still causing some of the actors to forget their new lines. The Conservatives start their conference on Sunday. And there are so many questions. In 2019, Cornwall's Tories said there was a climate emergency and we've developed all kinds of green policies to try to fix it. Or have we? Maybe the Loo Flood Defence Project can now join the same scrappage scheme as HS2. Shareholders in the Isles of Scilly Steamship Company approaching their AGM might have some pointed questions about plans to hire a French company to build new boats in Vietnam. Newquay Airport bosses have declared themselves delighted with the impact of their new social media influencer as they try to make up for thousands of passengers missing from their business plan. And motorists in Redruth have seen off a challenge from pedestrians whose children have to cross a dangerous road to get to school. The BBC had an interesting story about how Devon and Cornwall Police are making extra special efforts to train new recruits who might have learning difficulties. Neurodiverse police cadets, typically trainee officers who suffer from autistic conditions such as attention deficit disorder, are now being supported with special sensory equipment to help them learn the ropes. Pirate FM continues to cover the rumpus at Camborne Science School over new disciplinary rules. The Falmouth Packet reported the sale of a former church which once had planning permission for residential conversion. The Cornish Times congratulated the local RNLI for their life-saving heroics and finally Cornwall Live again kept an eye on the weather. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.